Hello, hello. Today I am reviewing Assassin's Creed Renaissance. Now this is the first book in the Assassin's Creed um, series and it was actually quite good. I enjoyed it more than I actually, I was, see I didn't know if I was going to love this book or I was going to hate this book. I was really undecided. I got a copy of it because it cost like next to nothing in a used bookstore and I was like hey why not it's an English language book and it doesn't cost very much I might love it I was unsure but um overall it was really good um so anyway this tells the tale of Enzo uh, Ezio Auditori um it starts off when he's basically still a teenager um, and spans um, 27 years, I think it's 27, 29 years um, by the end of the book. So like by the end of the book, he is a fully grown man. Um, and yeah, it's this whole venture into the Assassin's Creed and what that involves. It's also a story of vengeance, um, which is how it starts out. Um, I particularly being bilingual English and Italian, um, this book was actually a really good read for me because there's some Italian words like spotted through the text here and there, which, um, I think you should be able to get the general gist of what they mean, even if you don't understand Italian, because the way that it's, um, the way that they're inserted, you, you get the gist of it anyway, but obviously knowing the Italian, I really liked that. Um, it was an added element because obviously this is set in the late 1400s, um, starts out in Florence, um, but there's also um, trips to other cities as well. The main ones being Venice and Rome. Um, I live in Rome, so again, it was really cool. I also love Florence. Um, as well as a city um, and so yeah anyway just like a general vibe of this book was really good it has a bit of everything in it really there is love stories in it there is um, about friendship and loyalty and family and also conspiracies and religion it like literally has it kind of everything in this book and it also has some history in it as well I also liked that it had um, characters like Leonardo da Vinci, who plays um, quite a major role, really, in this book. Um, and his friendship um, with our protagonist, um, you know, is majorly important to the plot of the book. Um, so yeah, it was it was really good. <laughs> um, so like I said, it's one of those why I was curious because I obviously a lot of people have heard of the video game version of it, but maybe not so many have read the actual book uh, of it. And I would definitely be interested to read more in this series. Um, and I now want to dig out the video game as well, because <laughs> I know we have it somewhere because I remember my husband playing it years ago. Um, and so now I want to dig it out and try doing that as well. So anyway, there you go. That is Assassin's Creed Renaissance. Um, and this is, like I said, the first book in the series. So um, if you have any comments or anything about this, have you read this? Have you played the video game? Have you done both? How do they compare? Um, share your thoughts in the comments below. Um, also, if anyone wants to talk about like spoiler stuff, um, then feel free to reach out to me at my website, www.joelinsdale.com. Um, and you can find all my contact details there for other social media, my email, or contact me directly through my website as well. Uh, so if you want to chat more spoilers, we can do that privately um, through the other things there as well. So anyway, yeah, there you go. Assassin's Creed. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.